Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited because I'm taking you on a ride that is going to be very fun and also reminiscent of something from the past. Now one of the movies that was super popular during the 80s and 90s because it played on and still even today lives on forever, Goonies. We are in Oregon right now so I thought what better thing to do than to get out and explore some of the film locations including this one behind me. In fact, I've previously been to Cannon Beach before and I have an older video, so you should definitely go and check that one out. But this beach was actually used for one of the most pivotal and iconic scenes. You've seen this scene before, you've seen it numerous times. This is what it looked like right here. Now in that scene, you notice that there was a big rock. That's Haystack Rock, located right here on Cannon Beach. And so I thought, what better way to kick off our Goonies tour than with Haystack Rock and all of the spectacularness that comes with it. This place is gorgeous and absolutely a place you need to stop, especially if you love the Goonies. But we have a few more also, so I'm gonna show you them uh, after this. Now, believe it or not, the location that we were just at was actually quite a distance away, but the Goonies pieced together this magical world of Astoria that existed at the time, and it was quite fascinating to see how they put together this location. But the more interesting thing is, once you do come to the actual Astoria, you find location after location after location. And in fact, I have an app that I wanna share with you all if you're interested in looking for all of the movie scenes here that I'll tell you about in just a few minutes. But first, Let's check out this sign. This sign is kind of fascinating. It gives us a little fun fact about the Goonies. In fact, in 1985, the historic Clatsop County Jail was featured in the opening jailbreak scene. And then also the police pursuit that followed was shot right here in this area on these very streets. Now all of the locations that were included on that crazy pursuit are included on this app that I have. And this is called Set Jetters. Set Jetters is a great way for you to find all sorts of movie locations and uh, be able to explore a little bit more to see some of the behind the scenes spots from some of your favorite things. Now, did you know that also here in Astoria, actually Short Circuit and Free Willy were filmed in addition to Kindergarten Cop? That's right, this is absolutely epic. And I found all of those through Set Jetters. But now we're gonna go and check out another spot that's literally right here. Now this very county jail was actually used in the opening scenes. In fact, the most interesting part of this is that this is not only a set, but now actually is home to the Oregon Film Museum, which I'm gonna be sharing with you on an upcoming upload. So you're gonna to have to check that out to find out what else was filmed right here in Astoria, but also in Oregon. It's wild how many things they film here. However, this was where they had not only the exterior scenes, but also the interior scenes. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. But first, what is 
this. This is a four wheel drive that very closely resembles that of the Cherokee that was used in the Goonies production. In fact, this was the getaway car that they used at this very scene at the county jail. And you can see where they have some bullet holes in the back. Now, in the original scene, all of this area right here was actually set on fire to capture the people that were supposed to be keeping the people inside the jail. In fact, all of the guards were stuck behind a wall of fire right here. And this sped out of the parking lot. That's when the pursuit began and it kind of went through various points of Astoria that again, you can find on that app and I definitely encourage you to check out each and every one of them. Astoria is a super cool place and the more exploring you do, the more you realize you've seen it before. It feels like home. It's part of your childhood memories because it's in so many movies. Now inside the Oregon Film Museum is also Goonies. Goonies, 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 all the time Goonies. In fact, there's a couple different things in here that we're gonna wanna check out also. And uh, one is one of the most interesting pieces of the set ever. We're, we're just gonna cover him up here, but if you know, you know. In fact, this was the infamous David statue. It was one of five statues that were actually used in the production of the Goonies. And so you don't only get to see the locations of filming, but also a few props whenever you come here to Astoria. Ooh yeah, everything in here is Goonie themed. So definitely check out the county jail because you can find all of these interesting characters. But not only is it Goonies themed, this is the actual jail from the opening scene and in fact this is the very cell where that took place right here you can see the little pipe that was fashioned to hang him from the cell to pretend that he had in fact killed himself but then he jumps the guard and runs away Now this fence might not look super familiar and and this tree which is magnificent might not but this building right here might. In fact, it is here at this historic home that you can also tour in Astoria that the father who worked at the museum waved from the balcony. This is all taking place on the corner of 8th and Duane. A little bit better look. Look at the beautiful architecture of this building. It is absolutely gorgeous, but you can see here the porch, the balconies, and just imagine the dad waving as the kids were like riding down the hill. Hi! Now originally in the movie, of course, the dad worked at a museum and when they went up into the attic, that's where they found the treasure map that led them to the big adventure to save all of Astoria from the bad country club. And, and the father was waving from here. Okay guys, we have stopped off at what I think is probably the most iconic Goonies moment and also film location. It is the Goonies house. Now a few things about visiting the Goonies house. This is a privately owned residence, so don't leave things, don't be disrespectful. Uh, somebody has to live here at the end of the day. And it's kind of harder to see from the road itself, so we do have to physically go to the driveway. Now there was a controversy about visiting this home because so many people came here for the 30th anniversary of the video that it in fact became problematic. It became so problematic in fact that the owner of the property actually tarped off the house at one point to prevent people from coming by. However, in more recent time they have allowed people to come back and because of that we're going to be able to see the Goonies house again with respect. Now visiting you can walk up but you cannot drive so prepare to park and walk. Here it is guys, here it is the official Goonies home. Isn't it spectacular? This would be a beautiful home to own, but definitely one with a super cool history.
Now I've visited many film location sets and things like that that have gone to disrepair simply because people didn't want to live in something that was so iconic. And I completely understand. But the fact that this particular person has created such a wonderful memory that's now welcoming us back with their beautiful landscaping, I think is absolutely fabulous. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the van. Remember, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. And sometimes just going to a little stroll down memory lane through one of our favorite movies is that. Today has been absolutely amazing here in Astoria and yesterday in Cannon Beach. I hope that you have enjoyed coming along with me for these film locations and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.